in this video, I'll show you ways to use would, have, and then after have is the past participle. Use this combination to talk about things that didn't happen in the past or they did happen in the past. He didn't get a new car. And here's the reason. It would have been too expensive. Here's the verb be in the form of a past participle. The verb be is often used after would and have. I know someone who once lived in Iran and she wanted to go back, but my friend didn't go to Iran last year. And here's the reason. It would, and here we'll use have, and then the main verb. The main verb is be, but it's in the form of a past participle. It would have been too dangerous for her. They didn't move to Florida. And here is the reason. It would have been too hot in the summer. Alan didn't quit his job. What was the reason he didn't quit his job? It would have, and then here's the main verb in the past participle. It would have been too hard to find a new job. Or you could change this to take. The past participle is taken. It would have taken too long to find a new job. This is what did not happen in the past. And this is what would have happened, but didn't because the person didn't do this. Would, have, and then the main verb is used in past conditional sentences. This is in two parts. Here, I wouldn't have ridden my bike to school, and this actually did happen. And then starting with if, if this condition occurred, then this wouldn't have happened. I can change this, take off the negative. I would have ridden my bike to school if it had not or hadn't rained this morning. In this case, it did rain. This indicates that it did rain after if, and this did not happen. Because of this, because it rained. The flower wouldn't have blossomed if I had put it in a shady area. So this did happen. The flower did blossom. It did become a flower. And the reason is because I put it in a good area that was not too shady. The area got enough sun and so the flower blossomed. But the flower wouldn't have blossomed if I had put it in a shady area. A shady area is an area that doesn't get enough sun. I would have kept my old website, comma, and then 
here's a conjunction that starts the next part of the sentence. This explains why I didn't keep my old website. I would have kept my old website, but the software I used to build it was outdated. So it was difficult to work on the old website. So I sold it. And now I have a new website, English for the Planet. I hope you visit there regularly, especially if you're interested in basic English grammar.